this is a new episode. Hello and welcome again to another episode. That was a short one, that's good, that's what I was aiming for. This one will be short too, hopefully. This person is a Lotad, the six legged blue Lotad Pokemon. Not as cool as Embryo. Astonishing. I think I made that joke already. Might have been before when I recorded this the first time. Because I am dubbing over it again. Just to further waste my time. That's just great. So, Shroomish is a spotty mushroom Pokemon. With absorb and a bunch of annoying abilities. Or well, just one effect spore. Like some movie paralyzed. It'll do that to you. Also, he looks perpetually sad about everything. Even if you turn Shroomish's face upside down, he'd still be sad. Even have B eyebrows. Look a bit like a Vulcan. They can't battle me and there's nothing they can do about it. That's Magikarp man. But I'm not battling him yet. I'm just gonna run up here and grab some free stuff. Find the fence, cause there's always stuff there. The next fend. It's not even worth me going there. It's just a waste of time. I could sell that for some money, but I forgot to. I mean, I will forget to. So, running. Running past the lampposts. Rustboro City is a pretty city. It's a very nice city. It's got its own tile set and lamppost and big fancy building and a fat man there. And I've decided to run out that way, then I've obviously decided not to. Now I'm standing still. Now I'm running again. I don't know why I stopped. Probably to say something important, but I can't remember what it was. So, oh, yes! That's right. I'm gonna catch some Pokemon here, because there's evidence of the amazing new ones. No! It's a Slugma! Amazingly shocked. That's acting for you right there. Luckily, we ran away. They won't grab to repel. That could be useful. I have a feeling we're gonna find some cool water Pokemon on this route. Wouldn't that be nice? We got a good surf Pokemon. Wait, no, we're running back now. I can't remember why we're doing this. But, oh, that's right. Oh, I didn't have any Pokeballs to catch some amazing water Pokemon, so I better buy a few of them, huh? I think I'll buy about seven. There we go. Nice and seven. And they have super potions as well, but I didn't need any of them. Actually, I do. Let's go back in. Uh, so best super potions. Let's buy five of them, because I can do maps like that. We, we can only get five, really. Yeah. And then we'll leave $2,000 left. That I can just take down to the corner store, spend on candy. $2,000 worth of candy. But I'm real. Rare candies. Yeah. Candy's not that rare. Hello, fat man again. I'm running back. He's got a nice sign in Rustboro. It's another sign. Sign D here. So many signs. So many slugmas. God. I thought I left them behind two videos ago. Or three. I don't know. Um. That's youngster Joey. I'm disappointed that he doesn't have a retarder. Instead, he has something else. Oh. What does he have? Hold on, I'm struggling to remember. <gasps> oh no! Okay, I'm gonna try to do some credible acting for this part because it was an interesting battle. So this is bad, it's a fighting type. Oh <gasps> damn it! No, I missed. Oh, he's got low kick. He's got low kick. That is bad. That's bad. Tackle. I can do this. That's not much. Oh no, he's on low kick. <gasps> okay, all right. Let's not panic. Let's calm down. Let's chill out now. Let's use a super potion on Umbreal. We're going to save Umbreal's life here. <sighs> okay. Oh, he's located again. That's bad. I'm behind. I can take him. Uh, yep. It's all fine. We can do this. Go Umbreal. He's just hacking. Critical hit. Critical hit. Crit oh, it's not crit. <gasps> he's using Leah. He's using Leah. A few more of them, and he will be able to take me out. I need to tackle him. If I miss here, it's just. That's it. It's all over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Umbriel, you're amazing. Go have a crown and become Queen of Slovakia. You deserve things like that, Umbriel. You deserve nice things for doing that. <sighs> okay. Alright. It's going well. Wow! Even further luck. A nice Remoraid. That's a Pokemon that I like. I think. You know what? I'm going to try and catch this guy. So you need to tackle. That's a good amount of HP. And you know, I think one Pokeball should do it. I think we can get it in one. Wouldn't that be nice? If I do this, you got to send me some money, okay? I'll bet you $50, I'll get it in one. Bet. I'll bet you that. You win? Yes? Yes? Good. Where's my money? Sometimes, predicting the future is fun. Actually, I can think of a single time when predicting the future isn't fun. 
It would always be fine to predict the future, wouldn't it? No, no, it wouldn't. Things get boring. We've got to think of a clever name. I know. I've got one. Because he likes to swim at rivers and there's... Things. There's, um... No, not Sam and P. Let's find a space. That's better. Others upper. Salmon Sam Salmon Sam The surfing, diving, waterfalling Pokemon. So yes. Oh, here's a bug type. So I just explained this earlier in the original recording, but I'm gonna explain it now. Now, because I forgot previously. So now there's no time like the present. I'm gonna explain the double battle mechanics of the solo run, because Jarrett didn't know that. In his last video, he said, I don't know how it's going to work. So I'm going to explain it. Hi, Jared. I'm helping you out here. Uh, with double battles, there's a few that are compulsory. Most notably, the Titanalyzer battle, which you have to do. And you're obviously going to get into some accidentally, eventually. So with that, you have to take out the Pokemon that isn't your solo Pokemon first before you can attack your opponent. That's just where we're going to run it for this one. And I'm getting good HP stats with my Embryon here. Gets like 4 per level up, and that's great. We're gonna get high HP very quickly. He's already at 52 at level 13. If these rates continue at level 33, he'll have like 130 HP. And that's a lot. At level 100, more still. 67 times 4. I'm not doing maths, so holidays. Speaking of which, three days till Easter, or as I like to call it, Chocolate Day. And here's a Yanma out of nowhere. That's another cool Pokemon. If it learned any HMs, I would catch it and use them to use HMs. But he doesn't really, and there's better things. Oh, there's Foresight. That's another thing that Jared didn't know. Just gonna throw that out there. He didn't know. Uh, foresight is a move that makes sure you can never miss with your next attack. Just guarantees it's going to hit. So that's a nice move. You don't need quick attack with speed boost. Speed boost is an insane ability. I don't know what Game Freak were thinking when they gave it to Blaziken. Because really, it, of course it's going to be an OU. It's a Blaziken with infinite speed. It's crazy. Hi, Remoraid. It's humorous how Remoraid looks like a gun and learns water gun. See, there he is now. I would like a Remoraid water pistol. Make it happen. So, gain experience, beating Remoraids, catching the occasional Remoraid. And I start to decide on someone to talk to in the city. And that man with a red vest over there, he's a prime candidate. Look at him. Red vest, yellow tie. He's going to go places. He's a successful man. Very successful man. So, that healing machine kind of looks like it has a face. Now we're going to deposit Remoraid. Bye. Bye, Sam and Sam. I'll use you later when we get served. See? See, it has a face. It's got the eyes and its mouth. I'm leaving, so you didn't get a look at that, but oh well. Just look for it next time. We'll rewind. It'll be smarter. Do that. Bye. Sign. Um, grassy roots. Pleasant. Now we're going to avoid this battle girl, because, you know, fighting types are bad. There we go. Oh, all right. Wait, study. Oh, okay. She's a she's not a battle girl, but they they share the same sprites, so that gets confusing. Karen, school kid Karen, with a shroomish. Tilt your head upside down, and you will see shroomish is an upset Vulcan with a large mouth. Actually, he's kind of smiling a bit. Vulcans don't smile. Shroomish, I'm not a Vulcan. I'm making quite a few Star Trek references in this playthrough. Oh, he's trying to paralyze me. Well, too bad. Right back at you, shroomish. At two shrooms. Paralyzed. I know, he's going to attack. Wait, he did. Oh, that's further on. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, now I'm attacking you. Take that. Mmm. 124 experience. And Karen is beaten. And I get the monies. But it's not about the money. You just want to make the embryo grow. Wow, a Charmeleon. This is a Pokemon of such caliber that you have to catch it in something fancy like a Great Ball. 
I know it's Ember. And I'd always do a Charizard, because I could learn Fly. But no, I can't do that, because it's a solar run and I can't train it up. I'm not allowed to. Also, I couldn't be bothered to. But uh, let's catch him anyway. He learns Strength, he learns Rock Smash, and some other cool stuff. So we, we can do that. My HP, I reckon a Pokeball will do it, because I'm not... No, a Pokeball will do it, of course. Watch, can I get it? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, since I've learned my lesson, I'll try again. I'll try. I'll try it again. Yeah, we can. We can just walk. walk can't we? Watch. Just gonna get it now. No. Okay. All right. All right. Tell you what. What if we tried a pogo wall? Because I I refuse to learn my lesson. Guys, I just had the best idea. Great ball. And then I caught the Charmeleon. <sighs> Doing things over twice isn't fun. And I'm just being sarcastic and annoying, aren't I? Um, we got a Charmeleon. So we got to think of a good name for him. I was thinking Charlie, but that's not very original. So Charlie got me thinking about another famous Charlie. Char the Unicorn. But he's not a Unicorn, he's more of a humanish person so he's he's unicorn man unicorn man the chameleon my newest HM Pokemon user edition thumbs up to you unicorn man hey it's a teddy Ursa coming from a black and white perspective it's kinda weird to see the Pokemon not moving around they look so static like teddy Ursa is stuck in a state of perpetual curiosity, stroking his imaginary beard. Because Teddy Ursa would look weird with a beard. In fact, I think I'm, I think I'm going to do this for this video. Yes, at the end of it, you'll see Teddy Ursa with a beard. So here it comes. There's a beard. Remember to like and subscribe to this video. Oh, look, 14. I always double up at the end of a video, but anyway, here's Teddy Ursa. <laughs> 